Now for this last part, what we've got to do is find t when dm by dt equals minus 0 0.6 natural log 3. And in order to do this, what I need to do is update our equation m with our values of p and k that we found earlier. And then we're going to differentiate it with respect to t and equate it to this value here and solve the resulting equation for t. So let's just update the equation first of all. We have that m equals p, which we found out earlier to be 7.5. So 7.5, then it's e to the power minus kt. K we found out as well to be minus a quarter multiplied by the natural log of 3. So that's going to be multiplied by t. Now at the moment that looks like it's the natural log of 3t. And it shouldn't be read like that. So we could either put this in brackets with the t on the outside or we could put the t with the quarter, t over 4. And that's what I prefer to do. So I'm going to change that to t over 4. So we've got e to the power minus t over 4 natural log of 3. Now next we need to differentiate this with respect to t. So therefore dm by dt equals, now to differentiate something of this format where we've got e to the power of a constant times t, we have to use the chain rule. But this is a standard result that we should already know. What I'll just do is I'll just remind you down here that if you were to differentiate with respect to t, something of the form e to the at, a being a constant, then you should know that the result is a e to the at. So a e to the at. So if we use this result, then what we've got here is the 7.5, it has to be multiplied by the differential of e to the minus t over 4 natural log 3. The a part, the constant part, is minus a quarter natural log of 3. So we would put that at the front here, multiplied by minus a quarter natural log of 3. And then that's multiplied by e to the at. In other words, just e to the power minus t over 4 natural log of 3. So I hope you got that, okay? Bit of a messy part, that. Okay, well, I'm just going to remove this now because it's just getting in the way. So what we need to do is just clean this up now so we could do 7.5 times minus a quarter. And if you were to do that, you get minus 1.875, okay? And then we've got natural log of 3. Let's put that in brackets and then we've got e to the power minus t over 4 natural log of 3. And we know that this has to equal minus 0 0.6 natural log of 3. So I'm just going to say here that when dm by dt equals minus 0 0.6 natural log of 3, then we can equate these two together. So let's just come down here and what we've got is that therefore this value minus 1.875 natural log of 3, let's put that in brackets, e to the power minus t over 4 natural log of 3 equals the value up here minus 0 0.6 multiplied by the natural log of 3. So quite a lot of writing there. Now what I notice is that the natural log of 3 is in both terms. So I could divide both sides by the natural log of 3. So that would simplify that. And what I'm going to do next is divide both sides by minus 1.875. And if I do that to this side, I'm going to therefore have e to the power minus t over 4 natural log of 3 equals the result of minus 0 0.6 divided by minus 1.875, which is 0 0.32.
Now to gain access to this part what I need to do is take natural logs to both sides. So if we were to do the natural log of this I could either write the natural log of e to the power minus t over 4 natural log 3 equals the natural log of 0 0.32 or I could just realize that this power comes down to the front of the log and just go straight into the fact that this is minus t over 4 natural log of 3 multiplied by the natural log of e. But the natural log of e is 1 so we could just take that out. And then this equals the natural log of 0.32. So all I need to do now is just rearrange this to make t the subject by multiplying both sides by 4 and dividing by minus the natural log of 3. So if I do that t equals 4 times the natural log of 0.32 and that's all divided by minus the natural log of 3. And if you use your calculator to work that out you'll find you get 4.1486 and so on. And if you round this to say three significant figures you're going to get 4.15. There you go, 4.15 then for t to three significant figures. So I hope that's given you some idea then how to tackle that uh, particular question.